Hello my darlings, it's Dandy back with another video. We are in my office. I told you guys last week that I would be here in the office and so we're still trying to figure everything out. I actually did get a storage unit because as you guys know, I am no longer um, working as a professor. Let me not say that. I'm working as a professor, just not with the university. How about that? Yeah. Um, so that being said, I am ramping up on Poshmark. I don't know if I'm going to venture back into eBay. I really can't decide whether or not that's something I want to do. Um, I definitely want to start, I've been talking about it forever, so I definitely want to start the vintage store. Um, and so that being said, there's just a lot of merchandise that I am seeing that I want to hurry up and get into purchasing. But, you know, the hubs, he's not about that stinky thrift life. And so I had to get a storage unit. Um, so the storage unit actually is purchased. And so as we figure out the space, this is where I'm going to be for right now. And I have another video that I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to do it on the floor because I just like us on the floor together. Anyway, don't judge me. Okay. I'm just going to let you know that right now. Don't judge me. You guys know I have a lot of shoes, but there's always room for more, right? So this is a haul. <laughs> I went to Thrift Sense. I usually go there about once a month. The, uh... The sell-through, not even a sell-through, the turn is relatively slow there. They have a lot of merchandise. So if you're someone that loves the dig, this is one of the places that I love to go and dig. However, it's not a place that rotates, you know, very often like an American Thrift or a Goodwill um, or even a Salvation Army because they, they seem to, you know, turn very quickly as well um, or relatively quickly. Um, so I say that to say I go there about once a month just to see what's going on and I always go through shoes. They have a lot of shoes. I think they probably have the most, <sighs> let me see, other than like red, white, and blue and world thrift, I still think that, that Thrift Sense has the most shoes, um, from a South Florida, uh, thrift store that I've seen. That being said, a lot of them are not that great. <laughs> and so you're going to find some great ones, but you're also going to find some ones that really shouldn't be on the sales floor, in my opinion. Um, but I still go there once a month just to see what's going on. So, I don't need no shoes, but I bought shoes. Let's start with shoes, and then I'm going to show you these two really cool pieces um, that I found. Actually, no, let me, you know what, let me find, let me start off with this. So, this actually is a Dine von Furstenberg new label. This is the first time that I found a new label um, at the thrift stores. Sorry, my nose is itching me. Um, a Dine von Furstenberg new label. And you know what it is? Ever since meeting her in New York with my students, her, her vibe, like her presence is just, <laughs> it's all over me, darling. She was wearing this uh, charm that said In Charge. And, um... They sold it at the store. They no longer have it, but I've been wanting that charm. I went to the DVF outlet here. Why is my nose itching? Ah. I went to the DVF outlet and they didn't have it. I may look on eBay, um, but I want it. It was just a simple thing that just says in charge. And ever since then, I'm just like, I'm just obsessed with her. I'm more obsessed than I was before. So that was the first thing that's in here. Now let's show you the shoes and then we'll get to the two pieces. No, is this something else in here? It's underneath them. It's underneath the shoes anyway. All right, so let's go. The first pair of shoes, these are worn, not going to lie to you, but these are Barbara Bowie, honey. Yes. And let me tell you, I, oh, let me show you. Sorry. <laughs> Barb, can you see that? Yes. And the thing is, you guys know, I've taught this in the thrift class. If I need, to, you know what? I need to do another thrift class. Um, I saw under here and I was like, wait a minute. I saw that 40 and then I was just like, wait a minute. That's a good shoe. See the Zara? or a good shoe. And then I looked and I dug and I dug and I dug. And what do I mean by digging? At the register, they had this big kind of cagey looking bin and all the shoes in there were $2.99. I was not trying to look in this bin. The gold caught my eye, but they had a bunch of shoes. A lot of them were not that great in the first place, but for $2.99, I mean, if you're someone that rehab shoes for like, and like something like this, then go for it. So let me show you. The back is nicked. This is something I would definitely want to take to a cobbler and see if they could bring that back to life. Um, but $2.99 for these, I absolutely will invest. And so $40, Barbara Bui, $2.99. I'm just, I just, this is such a good holiday shoe, right? And to be honest, when you're on the dance floor, is anybody, can you really, if, you, if you're on the dance floor, 
with your man or with your girlfriends or whatever. Is someone really looking back there? If they're looking back there, they're looking too hard. I can understand, like, you know, we're right here so we can see it, right? But I'm going to look, I'm going to, when I'm looking at a woman's shoes, unless it's like a patent red shoe or a cream shoe, if it's a black shoe, the only thing I'm really looking at is like the cap because you can hear somebody coming. <laughs> That's the, that's the only reason, right? You can hear somebody coming, so you hear the click clack. But I don't, I don't think I ever look here. I don't know. Leave a comment below. Do you do that? I don't, I don't think it matters. Anyway, why are we talking about this? All right. So the next shoe, actually, yes, I got this one first. I saw it and I fell in love because of the color. Pink metallic is so hard to find and it's hard to do well. The only place that I've seen pink metallic done well is by, I can't remember, is it, is it Givenchy? Somebody had a shoe that's pink or maybe it was um, Giovito Rossi. I don't know, but pink metallic. I saw this and I was like, oh, this would be so beautiful for the summer. And not even that, you guys know I live in South Florida, so it's summer to us all all year long, well, except for like a couple days in January and February. But I saw these and I was like, I have to get them for the summer. These were $9.99 and half off. And so, yeah, I, I, I just fell in love with them. And they fit perfectly, and I'm going to store them in the, um, <laughs> in the storage unit so my husband doesn't see them. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. And then look, look at that. They have the little pink metallic on the bottom. That's so cute. So I kept walking. And what did I find? <laughs> the Turk metallic. These were actually $5.99 and nothing off. So I was just like, wait a minute. Get your pricing together. These are by Paloma Barcelo, made in Spain. I did not even... I'll, I'll look at the comps to see if it's a shoe that I should know about. Um, I didn't really care. I just loved the color of it you know sometimes you don't have to you don't have to explain yourself and look at com when it's for you um you like what you like right and so look how look how well made that is on the bottom y'all look at that oh that's so good but yeah so i got the pink ones and i got the turk ones so don't judge me okay don't judge me on that don't judge me don't judge me all right did i get any other shoes so i didn't get any, any other shoes but what i did get oh yes i did i tell a lie all right so what I did get, I did get another pair of shoes because these are comfortable as heck. So I got these Ann Taylor sandals, dress sandals. And because the heel is not that high, yes, it's thin, but they are so comfortable and so good on the foot. These were $12.99 um, and worth every penny. Because when I tell you, I will say Ann Taylor, I have some up there that I've thrifted. Um, I've shown you before. Ann Taylor and Banana Republic. If you are on a budget, I there are three brands that I just love. Oh, no, there's more than that. You guys know I love shoes. You guys know I was an assistant buyer for women's shoes, so shoes is my thing. Um, Banana Republic, Ann Taylor, Zara. It's, it's a love-hate relationship with Zara. You hate their business practices. You hate fast fashion, but they do such a great dupe. <laughs> like these shoes here, you guys. Oh, let me reach back. These are probably one of my most favorite shoes in my shoe closet. I got these from Buffalo um, Exchange. These are Zara. This is a um, Bal Balenciaga dupe. And I mean, I, every time I wear them, every time I wear them, I get compliments. Like they're just the best. So um, I say all that to say, you know, I do love my designer and I love my luxury, but sometimes you can find shoes that give you the same feel, the same vibe and you don't have to spend a lot of money. And then furthermore, if you find them at the thrift store, come on now, um, it's just, yeah. So I got these and these are these are just so beautiful. Oh, I'll see if I can do a try on for you. What would I wear them with? Um, you know, definitely a winter white outfit would be, would be gorgeous. I'm feeling black, I've been feeling like wearing black lately. Um, I don't know if it's because of New York, you know, come back from New York and seeing everybody in the black and the, I don't know what it is, but all black, like a black pleated skirt. Anyway, so if you if you follow me on Instagram, I am Dion Dean, then you've already seen this beauty. Some of you got it. Some of you did not. Some of you were just like, huh? But I love it. Look at this cape. This is not a traditional wool cape. Look at the arms. But I love it. I adore it. I think it is so pretty for those times when you want to wear a cape 
but you just don't want to commit to like wool you know what i mean um and you guys are trying to guess what it was i'll show you i'll i'll get in the mirror and we'll try it on together but love that and then this piece i fell in love with this i you guys know how i feel about my my pink pants of those pink pants and I keep on buying pink pants but I would actually probably wear these with my blue pants and look like a Florida Gator good lord look at this top with these sleeves let me button it up for you I'll definitely get in the mirror I'm sure you guys um what this looks like but look at this top look at the sleeves it's like a huge orange trapeze top you can belt it. You can, you know, I love an oversized blouse. It just so elegant to me. But let's get in the mirror so I can show you. Because I know on camera, you're probably like, Dion, what the heck is that? But I think it's fabulous. Let's get in the mirror. All right, my love. So here is the blouse. I absolutely adore it. I put my hair back because I felt like I wanted you to see um, just how magnificent Excuse me, I'm about to work on a Christmas video for you guys, okay? So don't mind that. Um, or holiday, I should say. Um, but yeah, I absolutely adore this. I paired it with some green pumps from Zara, but I love the looseness of it. I love the you know voluminous top with the skinny pants and then the shoes. I just, this is just totally my vibe. I have a belt here. So let's see what it looks like with the belt and then... Um, I don't know. Do we want to try it on with, with the other pants? We'll try it on with the other pants just so I give you guys some variation. But I just love, I love the way this looks. I like the way it feels. It just feels, it feels put together, but casual. Like I put the effort of, you know, playing with color. And so it says that I care about the way that I dress and the way that I'm, um, you know, showing myself to the world, but it's saying that I'm also just very relaxed and elegant. It just feels elegant. It's, it feels like, something i would wear to welcome you into my home ladies and lunch <laughs> on the lanai right all right so let me show you with the belt and i'm going to take my hair down um and then we'll put on the pink pants okay guys i lied so i like the belt because it's giving it a peplum feel oh my oh my oh my oh my darlings i look wealthy <laughs> I look like I came to hang out and donate money. <laughs> I, oh, I like, oh, ooh, ooh. this is so fantastic. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that with the, oh, oh I love this. I, you guys know me. You guys know when I love something and I love this. <sighs> I want to try it on with the skirt, but not really, because I think that you guys can kind of get what it would look like with a pencil skirt. Um, whew, this is everything. And I need a brooch. Do I need a Chanel brooch? Do I need to manifest that? Come on, God. Make it happen. Oh, I love this. I love this. I absolutely love this. I don't know where I'm going today, but I'm wearing this. <laughs> I really, I really like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So catch the vision. If you see an oversized shirt at the thrift store, at the mall, or whatever, and you're like, oh my God, it's going to make me look bigger. And don't worry about all that, okay? Just get it, belt it, play with it a little bit. Oh my gosh, I want to try this on with some jeans. Let me try it on with some of my distressed jeans, my toe up jeans. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So I didn't get my distressed jeans. What I got were these gauchos. I ain't gonna lie to you. My husband does my shoes. He's not home. And so I'm not fighting with these shoes today, okay? Um, <laughs> but I wanted to show you a different look. So the gauchos and then these ankle straps where I haven't done up the ankles. Wife life, y'all, wife life. But um, I like this too. So it can be comfy. And it can be casual. This is everything. This really is. I love this. I love this. Okay. Um, let me show you what the cape looks like. I'm not going to take this off. I'm just going to throw the cape on so you guys can see how it looks. 
Okay, so here's the cape. As you can see, it's not a winter cape. Um, it's very, very casual, very light. So, yeah. I love it, though. Not every cape needs to be for the winter. Some things you just want to throw on and have it be pretty for the fall. Or just to accent an outfit. Like, you're going out for the evening, and you just want to throw something on, right? I can see you just putting this on, you know, with your purse and just going out with your girls. Plain black dress, a little black dress. You're just throwing this on just to cover your shoulders. Let's do that. Let's just cover our shoulders. You know, I'm all about that life, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I love it. I love it. Okay, I told a lie. I'm not done. So, I told you guys that I was filming a holiday video for you guys. And so, this leather skirt was just right there. So, I wanted to try it out. And I think I like this as well. With a leather belt. Let me pull this down a little bit. I like this. I really do. Oh my gosh, this shirt. God bless the woman that releases from her closet. The shirt and the skirt. The skirt I got from Salvation Army. It was $8.99 and half off. Half off Wednesdays. But I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, so I am done. Um, yeah, holiday season's coming up. And so I am putting together... Five or six looks straight from the thrift store um, to inspire you to find amazing pieces at your local thrift store. So, love you. We never pay retail. And when will these videos be up? I'll see you soon, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.